Hi everybody, this is Ketel from INSEAD and I'm delighted to be joined today um, by Lise Kingo, who is the CEO and the Executive Director of the United Nations Global Compact. The UN Global Compact is a, a voluntary initiative within the UN, which is based on CEO commitments to implement sustainability principles and to accelerate progress towards the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you for joining me today, Lise. It's my pleasure. So let me jump right in and ask you, in this time of crisis, uh, what is the UN Global Compact doing? What's your key role as the leader of the Compact today? Well, we are very busy uh, issuing our call to action for COVID-19, which is basically that all companies take direction from the UN Global Compact 10 principles in the way they address the pandemic. So the 10 principles are relating to the human rights perspectives. It's relating to labor rights, to anti-corruption and to the environment. So we have issued this call to action a while ago and now we are reminding companies uh, what it means to adhere to the 10 principles And we are also asking companies to come back to us with concrete examples of how they are, for example, uh, supporting uh, human rights in their supply chain, uh, what they are doing to support uh, small and medium-sized companies in their supply chain, and how they are also um, supporting their employees yeah. in this very difficult uh, moment of time for the world. Thank you, uh, Lisa. So could, could you um, uh, summarize in the, in the nutshell in terms of key action that businesses should be taking now uh, as they respond to that crisis? What, what are these key actions that, that, uh, that businesses should be taking? Well, I think first of all, um, any company should look at all its own activities and make sure that they are aligned with the 10 principles. Mm -hmm. Uh, as a next step, companies should be very aware of um, their global supply chain and ensuring that they are doing everything they can to support particularly small and medium-sized suppliers. And there are many practical ways of, of doing that. And then at the next level, Um, we are very keen for companies to also support the call to action from the WHO that are trying to cope with the pandemic across the world. There are many ways of, of doing that, but one way is also to uh, support the WHO with concrete uh, funding, and we are providing a very easy way for, for companies to do that. So I think any company, no matter what industry they are in, uh, can uh, find help in our call to action and good ways of showing that they are a force for good in this unfortunate world of pandemic at the moment. Thank you, Lisa. That sounds very practical and we'll make sure that we provide the link to the, your call to action and to the principles. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, one group of businesses which are very vulnerable um, right now are the smaller, uh, more localized business and small entrepreneurs. So um, what, what is being done to support them? And then for those which are still in business, despite the condition, what could be their role also uh, in the overall response to uh, COVID-19? So the, the UN Global Compact Organization has close to 70 local chapters across the world that are very close to small and medium-sized companies uh, nationally on the ground. So uh, all our local networks these days are very busy uh, organizing these days um, video cons, webinars for all their members, of course, including small and medium-sized companies, giving advice. Uh, having discussions on how to best cope with the situation. And there, there are many great examples um, where small and medium-sized companies are sharing best practices 
and where we are also inviting larger companies in that have a huge supply chain um, so that uh, they can also share with the smaller companies uh, what guidelines they have put in place to make sure that the small uh, companies can sort of stay in business throughout this difficult time. So convening companies uh, these days is a very important part of what we are doing uh, and all with a view to uh, making our call to action a practical way of uh, taking action anywhere in the world. Thank you very much, Lise, for uh, joining us today, for sharing your insights, and thank you very much for all the good work that you and your colleagues at the UN Global Compact are doing. Thank you so much.